Google VO3 prompt tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you're someone that is looking to generate amazing videos that are realistic and can be creative, then you're in the right place because VO3 can do it all. To get started, simply click on learn more on deepmind.google. From here, we're going to get started with using Google VO3. So you can try this in Gemini or try this in Flow and I'm going to be using Flow today. Once I click on Flow, this will open up Flow and you do need a Google AI subscription. Now fret not if you do not have a Google AI subscription, it starts at $20 for their Google AI Pro. However, you can get the first 30 days completely free with access to over 1000 AI credits. So you're able to create amazing videos. Now to get started with VO3, we're going to open up Flow and then click on Create with Flow. Then you're going to have to sign up using your Gmail account or your email address. And once you've signed up, this is what your Flow dashboard is going to look like. So this will show you all of your pre-existing projects and you can get started by clicking on new project. Now here is where it's really important to understand the importance of prompts because if you do not know how important a prompt can be, your video can turn out to be as simple as this one or you can make it as creative or as interesting as some of these. So it really does make a major impact on how detailed you are with your prompt. Now, if you want some inspiration for your prompt, then you can click on Watch Flow TV. If you don't know where to get started and you don't have something in mind, then you can go into Flow TV, choose a channel that you like and find a video you like to take some inspiration from the prompt. But I'm going to be telling you guys all you need to know about what to include in a prompt. Starting off, you need to include the subject or the scene. So a young woman walking through a neon lit Tokyo street at night. I'm defining who the subject is and what the background should be. So click on new project and start typing. Now I'm going to show you guys a example of a well-written prompt. And this is going to be this. So a cinematic close-up of a samurai standing between a bamboo forest. Now in this, I'm just going to name some of the basic elements. These are eight elements, the subject, camera style and movements, lighting and time of day, yandra or style, motion, environments and backgrounds, as well as color palettes and aspect ratio. So I'm not going to define the number of seconds in this because I do not want to define that aspect ratio in the style of an epic historical film. And just like that, I'm going to put in that prompt. Now, before you send out your prompt, make sure to go into settings and choose one output. If you want multiple, you can select multiple and choose the model as VO3. Now, when you use VO3 as the model, I'm going to show you guys the differences that you're going to see within VO3 and VO2. The primary difference is obviously going to be the quality and then you have audio differences as well because VO3 is going to generate audio, whereas VO2 does not generate any kind of audio. So I have put in both of these prompts on the same scene builder and one is going to be generated using VO2 and then one is going to be generated using VO3 and I'll show you guys the results. So right now our VO3 is still being generated but we have our VO2 video that has been completed. So I'm going to show this to you guys in full screen so you guys can assess the quality as well. So here we have the samurai, we've defined the background, we've defined the motion, we've defined how the camera is panning out as well. And this is really important because if you want this type of movement where the camera is moving and the subject is still, you're going to have to place that in your prompt and I can show you guys how you do this. So the atmosphere is serene and mysterious, a gentle wind, and this is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The camera slowly pans around him. Now, if we take the same prompt and view this in VO3, you guys will see a noticeable difference. This is the VO3 prompt. This is the result in VO3, so you guys can see the result in VO3 is far more detailed, it's far more realistic, and it actually looks very much like a professionally shot film. So you will see some major differences whenever you are generating using both of these models. I don't think that it is necessary for you to generate all of your scenes using VO3 because VO3 does use a significantly larger amount of credits. You can see on the bottom right, 
BO3 is going to cost you 100 credits per generation, whereas if we take a look at BO2, the fast version of BO2 only takes up 10 credits. So personally, I do think BO3 is far greater and has better capabilities. So depending on how you know if you're doing this for filmmaking social media content advert content you can choose whichever model you prefer now going back into our home screen i'm going to show you guys some other things you can do with vo3 as well so starting off this is actually a image so we have converted this image into a advert like video so make the model move the eyeshadow palette and then zoom out this can be great for advertisements for converting your photo shoots into small clips and videos that you can use on social media to promote your brand. So this is the example picture and then this is what the AI tool has generated for us and it makes it really realistic and it has some really subtle movements that can be really amazing for stories and other types of social media content. Again, this really depends on your use case, how you want to utilize everything and how you want the flow models, how you want the VO3 to perform for you. Now, from here, I can also show you guys this example. This is a, we are focusing previously on realism, but if you want something that is super imaginative or fantasy-like, you can generate something like this, where I asked it to generate a world where everything was made out of crystals. So, this is another example of a different type of art style that you can opt for whenever you are doing these types of video creations. Additionally, if you want more ideas and inspiration, obviously if you go into VO TV or you know their Flow TV, you will see several different channels on the bottom. Then you can click on the grid view. Once you click on the grid view, you will see certain boxes. And if you hover on these, you will see all of the different creations. You can select one of these and once you select it, you can click on show prompt. Once you click on show prompt, this will show you the prompt and you are able to better see and better choose what you prefer. Now, if you want to scroll between all different channels, you can click on all channels and they actually have multiple different channels currently. And if you click on short films over here, you can even view some of the short films that have been created by using flow. And from here, you can scroll and you can see there are a few different picks. So we have Freelancers, we have Dear Stranger, and we have one other movie. This is Electric Pink. So all of these are AI generated videos and movies that have been created completely using VO3. So you are able to expand on your horizons and how you might want to use this for filmmaking other than just short form content. Now, as for the price plans of Google AI and for prompts, I would say that you can refine your prompt if you are focusing on the eight elements of lighting, camera angle, subjects, motion, styles, color palettes, environments, backgrounds, as well as aspect ratios. And you can opt for Google AI Ultra if your use case is going to be primarily for generating a movie-based content. So you're going to have to use VO3. Otherwise, if you're just trying it out you can try it out for free for three days for 30 days and then after that opt for the ai pro which is only 19.99 at the current price i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to bring your ideas and imagination to life using vo3 if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries make sure to leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say thanks for watching